Hi, in this video we're going to show how to accelerate a simulated model for edge detection in images using the GPU. We're going to make the model from the scratch. Uh, we're going to start from Simulink. Since we're going to generate code, uh, we are to choose embedded coder from the list. Uh, this is the most basic, that's all that we need. Okay, for this uh, image, uh, Edge detection, uh, we are going to use a uh, from workspace from multimedia file to load the video. Although, of course, they, uh, the video can also come from, from the inputs, but we're not going to use them, so we're going to get rid of it. We're going to use the Rhino video that chips uh, with uh, MATLAB. And we're gonna, it has red, green, blue, so we're gonna output in a one signal only. Okay, so now uh, let's do the Sobel filter uh, to detect edges uh, using MALA function block. Okay, so those filters are uh, computationally intensive because they're operating on all the elements of a matrix and that is, can be exploited uh, has parallelism to exploit uh, because all the elements could be processed at the same time and we can see here that it takes okay let's save the model a uh, shovel field edge detector okay so the input is going to be a grayscale image and there's going to be a threshold okay so we are going to use this kernel for the for edge detection uh, which is convolution and this is highly parallel uh, parallelizable should exploit the GPU. So we're going to have a horizontal convolution and a vertical convolution, which is the transpose of this filter, a kernel, a 3x3 three three kernel. Okay, so then after that, we get the error by uh, getting the square root of the squares. And you can see that this is uh, element by element multiplication in both of them. So this is highly parallelizable. And finally, we do an operation on every pixel, uh, embarrassing, embarrassingly parallel. And so if it goes beyond threshold, uh, it's going to be uh, 255, otherwise zero. So this is going to be a binary image that is coming out of this filter. OK, so let's call it a Sobel Edge Detector. Detect, just to make it different from the molding. OK, so now uh, since this is a grayscale image, we need a conversion from RGB to grayscale. With that, we're going to, we, we could use it the, uh, a regular MATLAB uh, simulating block, but uh, let's do it manually. Uh, RGB to gray. And you can see also, you will see that this conversion, which is pixel by pixel, will be also be done in parallel. Okay. So we take an RGB, the output is a gray scale. Let's choose 0 0.4 for the threshold. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, output, the input uh, and output through the video viewer. Okay, so it's going to be for the input and this another one for the output. Okay, so now uh, let's run this and uh, what we, we, we want to, let's, let's run it uh, manually to see what happens. No, 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 no. It's going to take too much time, and that's why we're using the GPU coder acceleration. So let's configure it, uh, just configure it for that. Okay, so the first step is the simulation target. We're going to use GPU acceleration. Okay, now after this, uh, the GPU acceleration options appear, and these are the default. So we're going to generate a CUDA code, and it's going to execute on the GPU uh, during simulation. So that's going to be on the SLPRJ folder. We're going to see in a moment. Okay, and the uh, the solver has to be fixed, discrete, and auto in fixed step size, but this automatically by choosing an embedded color model. Okay, so now let's uh, simulate this. And it's going to take some time because it's generating code, and you can see immediately that there's going to be an SLPRG folder. Since we are only doing simulation, you're not going to see C code or CUDA code artifacts is going through the simulation. It, and this function is going to be built. Oh, I was wrong. Uh, so you get actually the, the CUDA code. Yeah, uh, so yeah, you should see a, a few kernels in here. 
probably a couple of kernels for each of the malabsorption blocks. Uh, okay, so this is the entry point. You have the Marshall in here, uh, the conversion, and the kernels must be somewhere. I guess you can examine the code on, on your own time. Okay, so the output, uh, yeah, so we got the videos. So this is the input and the output, and you can see that the edge uh, was detected correctly. Okay, so the first time it takes a long time because uh, you are compiling it, you're generating an S function uh, that is going to uh, have this CUDA code and it's going to be integrated through an S function. And then uh, after compile and build, you're going to get a MEX file. So this is what provides your acceleration. So once the code is generated, uh, it's going to run faster. So let's try it again to see how fast it goes. You can see very fast. Okay, thank you for watching.